Hello everyone, Andrew here, and this is a bit of a pre-video thing uh, that I need to do to discuss why at some points during this video and throughout the Let's Play, uh, the screen is going to go a little bit weird. This is to get around the crazy copyright claiming content thing that YouTube has, uh, because for some reason I have had an absolutely terrible time when it comes to getting Super Mario World videos to upload. Uh, as you can see on the screen here, um, sometimes if uh, certain thing that you do matches uh, something else that is claimed on YouTube, uh, you will get the screen and it causes a few problems. Uh, the stupid part is though, is that these claims are actually being made by Nintendo themselves. It's not like my Let's Play uh, and of course Miles Luigi's uh, is being matched with, you know, random Joe Super Mario World Let's Play or something like that. This is actually being claimed by Nintendo. And it's not even like, you know, like I can kind of understand the company claiming a cutscene in a game that came out like a year ago because it's cutscenes in games these days are almost like little mini movies, but things like uh, auto-scrolling levels and even walking along the overworld map are being claimed by Nintendo themselves. So they must have their own Let's Play of this game uploaded to YouTube and they're matching people's uh, Super Mario World videos. And it's a pain to try and get around this. Because you never know just what you're going to have to do. Like, you don't want to go overboard so that the video is almost unwatchable, but at the same time, you don't want it to do too little because, as I have had to do, you don't have to upload the video like 10 times to see if what you're, uh, if, see if the workaround that you've implemented will finally work. Uh, so that's kind of part of the reason why this has taken so long to get up. Of course, part of it is, uh, as I mentioned, I have been extremely busy, so thank you so much for all your patience, but I would have had this up even earlier uh, if I had not started uploading parts and like, oh, Nintendo's blocking that. Oh, Nintendo's blocking that. And this it goes on. And it doesn't even tell you if uh, one video has multiple claimed parts. It only tells you one of them. So you go, you fix that, you upload your whole video again, just to find out that another part got claimed. And this can repeat many, many times. And, you know, you have to wait for the, re you have to edit it, then you have to wait for the rendering to be done, you have to wait for the uploading to be done, and then, bam, you know, you get hit by another one. And this process is extremely exhausting. But, yes, that is why the screen will be weird at times. If it is, you can assume that, um, it was necessary for me to have to bypass Nintendo's crazy claiming thing, which is really sad. Uh, especially, of course, in the auto-scrolling levels, it's kind of an issue because they always look the same. But come on, walking on the overworld map, that's just silly. But anyway, uh, thanks for listening to this. I uh, hope you understand, but more importantly, I hope you enjoy because I don't think it disrupts the video that much. And of course, Miles, Luigi, and I are going to be hilarious as always. Uh, thankfully, our voices, you know, destroy any potential audio claiming that Nintendo video. But without further ado, no more talking. Let's begin. Uh, but anyway, we have Donut Plains 1 here, and this is our first red level, meaning that it has a secret exit, which is something that was brand spanking new to the Mario World series. Or, to the Mario series overall, introduced in Mario World. Yeah, Mario 3 didn't have really secret exits. If you beat a level, it just opened up all the paths it connected to. Also, say hello to the cheapest item of all time that can be used to fly over almost any <laughs> level in the game. Oh, the cape. It's so powerful. It's so beautiful. And it... Yeah, you can entirely skip levels. <laughs> okay, these things drove me bonkers as a kid just because I would always miss the block and jump up on the platform oh, above. I do that all the time. Some people say that if you hit the block from the side with a cape, it will always be a coin, although I'm pretty sure that's not true. Although, it actually seemed to work right there, but I'm pretty sure it's not true. Well, you just have to disprove it once to disprove it. There you go! There you go! There you go! Also... Proof by contradiction. <laughs> also, you can kill yourself by lodging yourself up here and going in the corner, and then doing a spin jump repeatedly, but we're not going to do that. <laughs> just a fun fact, in case you for some reason wanted to destroy Mario. Also, there's this crazy bonus room, which has lots of coins, and it's kind of meant to teach you how to fly, but we already know. Although, as a kid, it completely threw me off, because I didn't Oh, I can it. never fly as a kid. I never understood it, and I watched other people do it, and they would just do it so beautifully, and I could do nothing but the initial takeoff, so... <laughs> this makes up for all those lives that you got in the last level. You got a lot of coins to collect there, mister. Ah, we're not going to spend all day getting those. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Although yeah, I think that's a room you can die in spending so much time in it. <laughs> in Mario Advance 2, I think there was actually a thing there where if you collected a certain number of coins, it would give you a 5-up or something like that. Or maybe it was a 2-up. Or a 3-up, sorry. Do you remember anything about that? I 
couldn't tell you. I do know that room gives you a counter, though. It actually tells you this is how many coins yes. are actually left. I think you do get a prize if you collect enough of them. Although I forget exactly what that prize is at it's, the moment. It's been so long since I've played Super Mario Advance 2. <laughs> Also, here we go! The red dot areas on the map have two exits, so be sure to look for them. Now, normally, you're not supposed to be able to get this exit without the green switch palace, but we're going to be a complete cheater and, go and just do that. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the green outline blocks, you're normally supposed to run up that wall, and then you get the secret exit, and it's like hex to the fudge. Yeah, but since Andrew I see is taking the secret path, I guess I will take the normal path and level. Um, each world, or world, wow, each level, of course, has two different exits, and I kind of want your cape. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. You got a coin instead. I dismounted off a of Yoshi, and that caused me to shoot fireballs, and I'm not <laughs> picking that up. So yeah, I'm just going to ditch Yoshi now, so I can get myself a cape, provided I don't get mashed in the head by a baseball. Oh, these guys are so annoying. Especially, you should agree, considering I've seen you have to go through some pretty crazy baseball shenanigans in a certain game you're currently playing. <laughs> Well, at least that guy is just sitting in the middle of the football field. <laughs> you know, it's not like I have to climb up a vine or anything like that. Oh. No, he's just sitting in the middle of the football field. But no, Baseball Chuck. He's actually called Confused Chuck in the game. Oh, wow. I flew right into that guy. But his name actually officially in the game is called Confused Chuck because he's playing the wrong sport. <laughs> That's, I didn't actually know that. I usually just call him Baseball Throwing Guy. <laughs> and commonly he is called Baseball Chuck. Anyway, I will do my own flight through this one section, except instead of flying, I'm going to show the bottom. Because there's just random coins sitting down here. And these were the coins that I would always collect as a kid, because I couldn't really collect the ones up there consistently. I would usually fly up, and then since I didn't understand how to keep myself in the air, I would go directly back down. So I would take off like 20 different times trying to get all the different coins. <laughs> and it was awful. <laughs> Also, something that I demonstrated when I got uh, the secret exit was I did a spin jump fly, where if you press the spin jump button when you have enough running speed rather than the normal jump button, uh, you can just fly straight up rather than having to worry about this whole uh, other kind of flying, which is something I never knew as a kid, although it's actually very handy, and many ROM hacks actually force you to use it. Alright, I have to watch out for Confused Chuck here, and I'll just go ahead and end the level to get our normal exit here. Using my yellow blocks to try and get a high number, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be bugging you about that the whole game. My yellow Switch Palace block. Because I chose to do Yoshi's Island 2 instead of the yellow Switch Palace. <laughs> I was trying to save time, less map traversal, you know? Mm-hmm. Now, here, Donut Plains 2, a level that always threw me off as a kid. Our first auto-scrolling level of the game, and also our first underground level of the game. So they're throwing a whole bunch of things at you at once here. And, of course, our first buzzy beetle of the game. There are certain enemies in Super Mario World that just do not look quite the same as their counterparts, and buzzy beetles are definitely one of them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they look they, very interesting. They, I guess they have some resemblance, but they, they look really different. So, mm -hmm. they're different. They're different. Nothing in Mario World really follows any rules. Like, it's just, all the sprites are very strange. Like, a different person drew half of them, and then another person drew the other half. Like, some of them don't have, like, some of them have black outlines, and some of them don't, and it's just, there's some sprites where if you put them side by side, you'd be like, how is that even from the same game? <laughs> it's kind of weird. In particular, the bats that are coming after you that I never actually called bats. They look like birds. <laughs> <laughs> they are technically bats, I want to say, the official game. They're like, yeah, these are bats, but I mean, they look like birds. <laughs> they are also really annoying as a kid because for some reason I always ran into them as a kid. Uh, I don't know how This whole why. level was just like the bane of, oh, for goodness sake, of my existence. Let's not have our first death here. Actually, Cape is very awesome. It just kills Chuck Guy in one hit. The Cape is just overpowered as heck. <laughs> now what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use this shell. And you need to throw it up and hit a block, although since I have the cape, even if I somehow botched it and got rid of the shell, I could just fly up there anyway. We're gonna Thankfully that's a turn block and not a typical Mario block that just breaks, <laughs> otherwise you would have had to make a bit more tricky of a jump, which I think you could have made actually. Yeah, it wouldn't have been too much of a problem. But there we go, another secret exit. Well done, Andrew. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just enter that level right away and go through the entire auto-scrolling section for everyone. Okay. I was giving you a chance to get the green Switch Palace. I figured you'd want to own at least one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Do I really want a Switch Palace? Uh. They all have a 1-Up minigame, but the green Switch Palace's minigame for 1-Ups isn't that good if I recall correctly. 
<laughs> it's the yellow switch palace where it's at, and you already got. Yeah, it. the yellow switch palace is definitely the best one. For the other ones, it's pretty much the one up. A one up is the best thing you can get. I love Luigi's sliding animation, by the way. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Mario slides on his butt, and Luigi slides on his knees. There we go. I'm gonna run, run past this. I don't want to get stuck on that side. That no. would have been an unfortunate end to Luigi's life right there. Yeah, and this. then I would have owned the first death of the <laughs> playthrough. <laughs> you don't want to be crushed. You don't want to be crushed by a giant block of cheese. <laughs> That's what you think this is, a giant block of cheese? <laughs> Everything else in Mario World seems to be food themed. Oh, fair point, yes, good point. I I've never made that connection, these just were always platforms to me. <laughs> uh. Platforms that are just, well, platforms. Yeah, I, I doubt they're actually supposed to be cheese, but that's just me being hilarious, I guess. Ha! Huh. Well, let's actually think about this. What else could that actually be? It's moving up and down, <laughs> it so could, it could there's be probably. <laughs> I was gonna say it could be solid gold. <laughs> solid gold. Anyway, we have some seismic activity happening below this level. It's causing all this activity. Oh come on! Here I am trying to get a feather and remove a feather, and now there's two feathers, and I can't get any feathers. <laughs> There we go, but thankfully this level isn't too terribly long, although this platform here will crush you if you just jump on it right away. <sighs> See what I mean? Mm -hmm. It will just, just crush ya. In fact, the screen actually slows down yeah. on the scrolling here. It's really a jerk move, because with the normal speed, you would normally ha expect to have to jump on it as soon as possible. And then it's like, nope, the screen's gonna slow down. Forget you. There you go. You got all the dragon coins. We haven't even really been trying too much, but they've kind of just all been in our path. Unlike the advanced coins in Mario Advance 4, most of the dragon coins are placed on the normal path. And there you go. Yeah, if you play normally, you will generally run into them. I'm going to get the first bonus game. Very nice. <laughs> I haven't even been trying to get the... Well, okay, I did try to get the 50 once. I haven't gotten a 50 yet, but I get the first bonus game. All right, here we go. Anyone who's ever watched my videos will know that this game's the bane of my existence, so... <laughs> here we go. Oh, the cape's gonna mess this. Ah, I messed it up. Yes, it's definitely easier without the cape, because sometimes if you hold the jump button just a little bit too long, you'll start to hover in the air, and that will completely destroy all of your momentum. Oh well, at least I got it, and I wasn't <laughs> off by one. There we go. Uh, I will leave you with that cape to do the ghost house, because I'm pretty sure you'll find a good use for that. Uh, and I will do the green switch palace. You actually want to jump over this thing here, and you want to do that. I almost botched it. And you chase after this as he hits various things, and there's the puny one-up that Miles Luigi was talking about. You can get a second one up if you kick it yourself. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> there we go. Excellent job. The power of the switch you have pushed will turn dash into solid. Your progress will also be saved. Woo! In case people didn't know how switch blocks work. I've always wanted the switch blocks to come back in a future Mario game. Have to find the cap switch. Uh, I call them cap switches because that's kind of what they became in Mario 64. But just having to find them and then, you know, it opening new paths within levels and giving you those additional power-ups. I always thought that was really cool. Yet I've been so disappointed that out of the four new Super Mario Brothers games, on a single one has brought them back. Also, I see what you were doing here. There were too many ghosts in my way in the first place, but yes, <laughs> the beginning of this ghost house, there is actually a secret up here on the roof that Andrew was hitting, hinting towards, so I will go ahead and take advantage of the secret, especially since, thank you. Uh, thankfully, unlike Super Mario Bros. 3, you can have more than one up on the screen at a time, and they won't disappear like a gigantic oh, jerk. I probably would have hit the tape. I'll, I'll wait again. There we go. Very nice. And Wow, yeah, 26 lives. I need to step up my game here. I know of some good infinite one-up spots, but they don't show up until a little bit later. <laughs> Fair point. I haven't played Super Mario World in long enough time that I can't remember an infinite one-up spot, so if you find one and use it, you probably will win the contest, but... Uh, I, you'll probably get enough one-ups before that, but I think I'm going to go over here, and we will play Donut Secret 1. Here we go, folks. It's our first underwater level. All right. Which introduces one of the most annoying enemies ever, Rip Van Fish. No! I was going to say he's not too difficult to kill with the cape, although I almost let him get up underneath me there. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> he auto-tracks and homes in on you, and if you, you navigate yourself around, it's not too terribly difficult. Um, 
Of course, sometimes you're in weird circumstances, and wow, you are playing with danger and death there, Andrew. <laughs> Something fun you can do in Super Mario World is in underwater sections just like that, you can actually swim underneath the floor. <laughs> so, you can break the levels if you want to. I had to show that off. There you go, but you have entered a pretty unique, just tall, random cave in the middle of the uh, sea. Yes, it's very weird. You can come in here and there's some dragon coins and there's some one-ups at the top. And this also introduces a new power-up, the pea balloon Ah, the pea balloon This is where it got introduced. Has it actually come back since, I'm trying to think? I know you yes, can turn it into has. a balloon in Mario 64 DS. Yes, it has. And yeah, I was about to mention Mario 64 DS is where the pea balloon has come back. And you missed one of I was wondering, I, I wanted to make sure if there was anything in that. I couldn't remember if there was or not, but there was not. Also, you can get one-ups here, though, actually, which I might but just try and do. Another variant of the pea balloon came back in Super Mario Galaxy 2, because one of the things uh, Yoshi could do is kind of turn into a balloon and float upwards. Oh, I almost ran right into that guy. No! Come back here! There. Oh, oh here we go. Any more extra hits? No! no! Nope. <laughs> Denied. Oh. Yeah, what do you have? 26? I am just losing all over the place here. <laughs> uh, now the question is, do I go for the secret exit? Because this once again was a red level, or do I just do the normal exits? If I want 1-ups, I should probably just go for the normal exit. So I, I'm going to do that. So you've been getting all the 1-ups. I'm going to take my share. There you go. Yes, so we're going to go up here. Uh, it is really cool in this game. If you're holding an item, you can swim, like, super fast. Uh, you're normally mm -hmm. supposed to use the P-switch here, and it will bring up, and that block has a key in it, which you can use with the keyhole, but we're not going to do that. You're not going to do that. Interesting to note there, did you just collect another dragon coin for a sixth dragon coin? Did I, or did I have five? I'm actually thinking about that myself. Because I think there are six in this level. Also, my item went so high that it didn't even come back down. <laughs> it's never coming back. No! <laughs> and that is just a shortcut to the ghost house. Well, not technically a shortcut. You would have to beat the same number of levels even if you went the other way around. But I don't think I lose my turn if I enter the top secret area. Let me double check That's, that. You're right. It has a side exit just like Yoshi's house, so you likely won't. But yeah, the top secret area is power-ups galore. <laughs> Quite simply. It's also... Sorry. Oh, the left side will always have mushrooms or flowers, and the right side will always have mushrooms or feathers. <laughs> I was going to say it's also one-ups galore, because if you have Yoshi, his block will then have a one-up in it, so you could just keep going in and going in and going in, and we could be here for like the next hour watching you get one-up mushrooms <laughs> till you hit 99. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but anyway, let's go ahead and show Yoshi. Yoshi can swim, but his swimming animation isn't exactly the most inspired thing ever. Also, because you collected all the dragon coins, they're now gone. Ha! That was my secret plan. Not really. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was one of those subtle things that happened in Super Mario World, and there's no other notification like the game gives you that you collected all the dragon coins in the level, other than if you enter the level, they were gone. Mm -hmm. Uh, Super Mario Advance 2 remedied this by letting you know, hey, you collected all the dragon coins in this level. Yes, because there was a whole, um, kind of, uh, level screen where you could see a list of all the levels in each of the worlds, and it would tell you if you had all the dragon coins as well as you could instantly teleport to a level with the use of that screen, which was very good, because sometimes walking around this map gets a little tedious. <laughs> You know what's the solution to that tedium just from a game design perspective? Make it so the player can hold down a button to traverse the overworld quicker. <laughs> Fire Emblem Awakening did it, and it was brilliant and useful, and holy cow. Uh. Anyway, um, oh, this is a decent time to get rid of Yoshi, because I could eat the pea switch with Yoshi. The problem is, if something is in Yoshi's mouth long enough, he'll actually, actually eat it and swallow it, mm -hmm. and that's no good. Plus, Yoshi can't swim fast when he has items, which is kind of lame. We got Turbo Luigi going on here. That is correct. Anyway, I want everything dead, and I will just go ahead and collect my coins. That guy's not dead. <laughs> there you go. And because the P-Switch was activated, the brown block turned into a coin, which made it easier to get that key. And there you go. 